hello dear friends in previous video we have discussed that what is the function of providing rings or ties in columns in this video we are going to discuss the design of transverse reinforcement of columns or we are going to discuss that how to find spacing between two ties in column so watch the video full and do not forget to like this video let's start today's discussion for this purpose we have selected a column and we are going to determine the spacing between two ties or rings which is represented by S. The bar used for longitudinal reinforcement is number 6 bar having diameter 6 by 8 inches. And bar used for transverse reinforcement or per ties or rings is number 3 bar having dia 3 by 8 inches. The dimension of the column given is length of the column is 10 feet and its cross sectional dimension is 15 inches by 15 inches now to find the spacing between two ties or rings in column we will use ACI 318 method spacing between ties or rings in column according to ACI 318 can be determined by using the following three equation the first equation is 16 db second equation is 48 db third equation is minimum column dimensions here db mean dia of longitudinal bar while in second equation db mean dia of transverse reinforcement or dia of ties bar and minimum column dimension here means that the smallest dimension of the column which can be its width or its breadth now we will do a practical example of determining the spacing between ties or rings in column so let's start discussing the previous example already discussed so starting from the first equation which is 16 db we have discussed that in this column the longitudinal bar used is number 6 bar so here the dia bar is 6 by 8 footing that in this equation we will get 16 multiplied by 6 by 8 by doing simple calculation we will get that 16 db is equal to 12 inches now the second equation is 48 db now here the bar used for ties or ring is number 3 bar so here the die of the bar is 3 by 8 so multiplying 48 by 3 by 8 we will get 18 inches and the third equation is minimum column dimension we know that the cross-sectional dimension of this column is 15 by 15 inches so the minimum dimension is 15 inches if the dimension of the column is different and we have a rectangular cross-section so you will take the minimum of the two dimensions now we have three values for the spacing so here remember one thing that minimum of these three values will go on so you can see that this is 12 inches this is 18 inches and the third one is 15 inches the minimum of these three is 12 inches here this 16 db equation will go on and we will use the spacing between the ties or rings in this column is 12 inches this is the maximum value of the spacing between two ties and you cannot take a larger value than this 12 inches so you can see that by using this technique we have determined the spacing between two ties that is 12 inches by using ACI 318 method. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. For more updated videos about Sever Engineering, please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much.